proving a co-function identity. Oh, I love proofs. We're back on this. Remember our co-function identities. Co cosine of pi over 2 minus theta was equal to sine of theta. And remember where that came from. If this is theta, then this is pi over 2 minus theta. And here is our right angle. If we call this A and B and C, sine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine of pi over 2 minus theta. Now, that requires us to put our eyeballs here and look through this. That's adjacent over hypotenuse. Oh, by golly, they are equal. So we know this is a true statement. Now we're asked to prove it. And I start you with the usual questions. Which side is more complicated? Because we're still in that mentality that it's easier to go from complex to simple. We can whittle it down as we use our mathematical hammers as at the, at the forge because we're mathematical blacksmiths. So I start on the left-hand side. And I certainly can do something with this. I know this is equal to cosine, cosine, sine, sine, and this will be alpha, beta, alpha, beta, playing the role of alpha is pi over two, playing the role of beta is theta. Now, a minus, oh, remember cosine can't get along to go along. So now requires us to know something about what's going on in the unit circle up here. Not part of my proof. If the angle is pi over two, I'm at zero, one. That's cosine pi over two, sine pi over two. So I can make my substitutions. Cosine pi over two, clearly, hopefully, you can see that's zero times cosine theta plus sine pi over two is my y. I make my substitution times sine theta gives us zero, zero times anything is zero, plus sine theta, by the way, that is sine theta. I take baby steps and I show everything. It's a mathematical meat sandwich. Here are the two buns and I provide all of the meat. And if you're a vegetarian, that's tofurkey in the middle. Very similar to a proof, we're asked to simplify the expression. Well, we don't really have many options except to say this is cosine of alpha cosine of beta plus sine of alpha, sine of beta. So I'm gonna go alpha, beta, alpha, beta. That's what we do for the cosine. And I have to know something about, not part of my proof, but I have to know something about what's going on at three pi over two. If that's my angle, three pi over two, I'm here at zero for x and y is negative one. Oh yeah, that's cosine three pi over two is zero, sine three pi over two is negative one. So this becomes cosine of theta times cosine of three pi over two, which is zero, plus sine of theta times sine of three pi over two is negative one, which gives us zero negative times positive minus sine theta, which gives us negative sine theta. We have simplified this Notice, if this were a proof, I would say to you, prove that cosine of theta minus 3 pi over 2 is equal to negative sine theta. That would have been the original problem. That's why I say simplifying is similar to doing a proof, except they don't really tell you where you're heading. Here's another one that's similar. We know tangent of theta plus 3 pi. Well, this is like a proof where I don't know where I'm heading, so we don't have many options. We can write this as tangent of alpha plus tangent of beta over one minus tangent alpha times tangent of beta. Playing the role of alpha today is theta. Playing the role of beta is three pi. So this is equal to this. Now I have to know something about three pi, not part of my proof. Here is a one pi, a two pi, a three pi puts me there. Same as pi, right? It's coterminal with pi. So I'm negative one, zero. Now, important to remember that tangent of any angle is going to be sine of the angle over cosine of the angle. In other words, it's y over x. Look at y over x here. y over x, or sine of 3 pi over cosine 3 pi is going to be 0 over 1, which is 0. So this is going to simplify to tangent of theta plus, you guessed it, I'm going to substitute in a 0 there over 1 minus tangent of theta times zero, 
which simplifies to numerator tangent of theta over one minus zero gives us one. So there is our simplification. Now, if this were a proof, I would have started with this up here. I would have said prove that tangent of theta plus three pi is equal to tangent of theta. Not obvious when you first start, but here it is. It's pretty simple now.